we've studied these types of products from mycobacterium tuberculosis for many, many years. We've studied them using this type of instrumentation, but now it's how do we take all that information and apply it to human clinical samples. Our research uh, is primarily looking at the bacterium itself, trying to un understand uh, various products that are produced by the bacterium and how those products interact with the host. Um, right now we have a major emphasis on looking at these products um, for diagnostic purposes as well as the host response. How does the host respond to the bacterium and can we use those responses to, deter, to uh, diagnose tuberculosis? Okay. Well, I started under Pat Brennan my research career and um, the aspects of, of the research were very interesting to me. Um, the ability to apply biochemistry to understanding an infectious disease was very interesting to me. And as I've progressed through my career, this desire to continue a focus on tuberculosis research has increased. Uh, and part of this has been now the involvement with clinical groups outside of Colorado State University and being able to travel to these parts of the world uh, where TB is endemic and seeing the sorts of challenges that they have uh, with respects to diagnosis of the disease and treatment of the disease. Most of uh, my interactions have been in Africa, in Uganda and South Africa. And so in those settings, you're able to see uh, the clinics where these patients go in. Uh, usually they're open air clinics, uh, patients sitting outside on benches waiting to go in to see a single doctor. So you'll have anywhere from 40 to 50 patients lined up. Any sort of inter intervention, whether it be a diagnostic or a drug, it has to be something that can be applied in a setting that is resource limited. There's multiple vaccines that are in clinical trials. There's many new drugs that are in clinical trials. Uh, the problem is this is a very difficult disease to treat. It's a very difficult disease to prevent. But what is very encouraging is the new technologies that are being applied for the development of diagnostics, the new technologies that are being applied for identifying new drugs and understanding how those drugs work, and the same can go for vaccines. So we are making progress, but the progress, unfortunately, is slow. It does motivate you as a, as a researcher, and it also then gives you, it, it, in a way, it gives you justification for why you come to work every day.